Good evening. Police have reported two men for assault after a federal Liberal candidate and her volunteer staffer were allegedly attacked outside a suburban supermarket. Today, bruised and shaken, Jasmine Wood returned to the hustings to continue her campaign. The pair revisited the Plimpton shopping centre this afternoon, pressing much friendlier flesh. Thank you. Best thank you. you. Thank you. We'll just uh, obviously be back every time regardless. Jasmine Wood and volunteer staffer Adrian Robb are determined to move forward after claiming they were accosted by two men screaming abuse about the Liberals' policy on asylum seekers. I tried to step backwards and, and tell him just to, to, you know, just to leave. It wasn't getting him anywhere, so he stood on my feet and planted me to the ground. I was struck. Um, I was later knocked to the ground and the, the assault continued for, for some minutes after that. Police were called and questioned and reported two men. The Liberal Party's trying to recruit extra staff to accompany women candidates when they're out in public places campaigning. The alleged attack's been condemned by all sides of politics, but it appears Ms Wood's opponent, sitting member Steve Georgianis, has gone to ground after he made headlines with the first gaffe of the campaign. I think um, uh, Julia Rudd is the Prime Minister. He didn't return any of our calls today. Michelle Vella, 7 News. Julia Gillard's kicked off a five-week election campaign cuddling babies in Brisbane. While she was busy meeting the people, Kevin Rudd was dodging questions about whether the leadership spill will affect Labor's chances. Kevin Rudd arriving in Canberra today and trying to move forward. Excuse us. But was somewhat taken aback by our cameras. Now, where are we? Home from the US at the beginning of what should have been his campaign for re-election. Mr Rudd, what would you say to vote Labor because of what You know something? It's really good to be back in Australia. And then he had to zip. But as one door closes, another opens. The woman who replaced him headed to Kevin from Queensland's hometown. Hello. But on day one of campaigning, she had to be asked to kiss a baby. Again, again. As she begins to work the key marginal seats here around Brisbane, Julia Gillard's biggest challenge screams at her from the headlines. Rudd axing haunts Julia. Julia Gillard's trying to stick to policy, announcing a $230 million housing plan, promising to build 150,000 new houses to relieve the crush in outer urban and regional areas.